day three, Tarina. I'm recording you. Oh, yes. What time is it? About uh, almost quarter past eight. Almost quarter past eight. Hey, Tarina, hold up. You can't hear the cicadas anymore. That's nice. You can. Well, not, not as badly as before in the distance. Mainly just birds now. So you reckon this is an old, this might be an old forestry road? This is old, this is forest. Bush, I forgot the name of it now. Oh. We've caught up to the others. Well, when they saw us they started running away. <laughs> Those are Cody, aren't they? Here they are. You can see all the set coming down the side. Well, we're still on this gravel road. Uh, I'm at the front of the group now, which is pretty unusual, but I'll probably end up at the back as the day wears on, which tends to happen. Yeah, we've been following this gravel road for quite a while now. Well, gravel, gravel path, I suppose. It does look like, like it's occasionally used by vehicles of some kind. Coming up to a bit of a view here. Okay. Lots of Cody trees down there. This is a new looking bridge. stream in there. Little bit of a waterfall. <laughs> Green is going around the old way. Where is she? You're going the old way. <laughs> Oh, you're getting a photo. Okay. Huh. There is a sign that says Cody Trees. Maybe they're ones that didn't get knocked off. What's that? There's a really big Cody tree there. Might stop here because then I can kind of get it in perspective of yeah. Tarina. Standing there. Oh, That's one of the few remaining original Cody. Oh, there's one behind it as well. Ah, oh, I can see it from up here. <laughs> see, and all these are what they look like when they're really young. <laughs> like a little Cody grove. Uh, or a young one, high school for Cody. <laughs> According to this, a lot of the Cody were cut down to for the masts for uh, British warships. So, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Some kind of junction here, which may or may not be a high stream diversion. Is that what you said? Yeah, like a flood diversion. A flood diversion, which uh, we shouldn't have a problem with at this time of year. Nice little stream here for, for us to look at. Look 
Oh, that's really clean water in that one. I think that's the cleanest I've seen. No algae or anything in that. This little pool here makes some cool sounds if you drop rocks in it. Uh, here I drop it. Oh, that one wasn't so good. Can we do a drop? Yeah, you do a drop. Here, oh, here's a nice big one. Okay. Wonder if that would be quite splashy. Oh, yeah, maybe too splashy. Maybe get a smaller one. You ready? Yep. Oh. Let's try, try a small one, yeah. One? And maybe lean over further. Yeah. Maybe do it more sort of as, yeah. Yeah, try there. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. Maybe, maybe a bit bigger and round. Okay, I'll try one more time to... They're actually called bongo drums, they're actually called conga drums. Hey, look at that. There's like, there's, when you go, there's bubbles rising off the rock when you throw them in. Mm. It's full of water. Full of air. Right? Full of air, yeah. Cool. Must be quite porous. Yeah, anything like that, but I'm gonna get a chip, I can get a angle. You can see like three straight clones coming up here. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I can see them all here. Uh experiment. <laughs> I'm not gonna recover the rock. Maybe it's the rock. Oh, that got pretty close. Is that yeah. Like a two-tone. Your one's bu your one's really bubbling. Look at that. Yeah, that was like. Oh, it is. Wow. Ooh. Oh, yeah. See how it's bubbling? Oh, yeah. Rupting. Yeah. The gas that was trapped after. That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah, wow. Well, that one's only got one bubble, so it must have one one big air pocket in there somewhere. Which one? Mm. Oh, oh see, just it's just one. Yeah, some real fine bubbles coming from there. Oh, yeah. that one's still yeah. bubbling. That coming. one, yeah. They're super fine. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Wow. That's a real. Oh, those both You're of those like are bubbling. That yeah. <laughs> those must be ones that we threw in before. Oh, the one at the uh, the one at the front back I knew, but uh, the one at the front too. That one's bubbling too. I think this this one here could be quite porous, so I'm just going to sort of plonk it in and see what we get if we get lots of bubbles. Oh yeah, that one gave us lots of bubbles. Not not as many as I was hoping though. See, this track is absolutely littered with these little burrows of the from the native bees. You see them crawling about every once in a while. It's just all over the place. See, look at them all. Lots of little holes. Mm, I found a dead one. Just lying out on the track. Mm. Native bee. Some kind of native bee doing its thing. Digging a hole. Hey, 
area over there. There we go, there's one going into its little hole. Oh, it looks like it's digging. Okay. It comes again. So there's a lookout here, go have a look at that, Maunga Pico lookout. Uh, how do I get up here? Clamber over these rocks, huh? That must have been why it said risk of significant fall. You got reception up there, have you? Yeah, you got reception. The view any good? Not bad. Not bad. It's all the way up there. The time for dawn and see if you can get there earlier if you want. No. I have not have it. Probably on a walk or out of reception. Where did you put your feet up? Over there. So this is the lookout. Yep. The soil is very pink. Pink. Oh yeah, all the different sort of shades of or colours I suppose. Pink and white and yellow. Yeah. <laughs> the camera comes up religiously. Religiously in that bit. Strange pose. Do something interesting, that was, Mike. That was good effort. Recharging from the massive. <sighs> oh, that's camp. your recharging? The, the, what is it? The tuna? Re Actually, satay oh. rice and tuna. Oh, yeah. Waterfall. I can't really be bothered getting in to be honest.
Looks like we're at the end. Bye bye. Enjoy the walk. Yeah. Or oh, you're really, enjoying your ice cream. Really enjoying my ice cream. Oh, enjoying the ice cream. I feel I've earned it. <laughs>